Hi! Welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I'm so glad you joined me today. If you're new to my channel, well, welcome. I hope you stick around and if you like what you see, become a subscriber because I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And to my subscribers, well, just send in lots of love and um, happiness your way. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have a little mini uh, craft haul today. And then we're going to get into um, this incredible dragonfly. It's just beautiful. All right, so picking up some things. I found these. They come in three different... Uh, maybe they have a square, too. Uh, they might have a square, too. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Probably mini fairy gardens, but I really like them. They're cement, and they come in a circle, a triangle... I think a square, which I didn't buy, and a rectangle. So you may want to get some of those. I picked this up. It's in the kids' toys, but I thought we could make it galvanized and we could do a cute little DIY with this. So if you see one, you might want to pick one up. I finally got these. Um, they come in three sizes. This is the biggest one, and it's not very big. It's probably like six by six, um, but very cute. And if nothing else, it makes a great shadow box. This isn't a craft item, but <clears throat> I just love the idea. It's an organizer, and you can write down what you want to do and then keep your track of your um, projects. So I really like this. There's 80 sheets in here for a buck. You can't go wrong, so you might want to keep an eye. I picked this up. I don't normally get coloring books from Dollar Tree because I have so many. But this was feathers and, um, you know, if you're thinking about doing some of that faux window uh, stained glass, uh, there's some really great images in here. I love the feathers. Absolutely love the feathers. So, you may take it a look and see. Um, this is going to be coming up on our next DIY, um, <clears throat> and so these come in four different styles. I got the ones with the two roses because, you know, I'm going to get as many roses as I can. Um, but these are a really nice size, and um, yeah, if you see them, pick them up. Absolutely. I don't really like the greenery at Dollar Tree, but these seemed okay. They would look okay. They're ferns. Yeah, they're just calling them fern foliage. Um, <clears throat> like this one has the light and the dark green, so I kind of like that. looks a little more realistic. Um, so I picked up a couple so that if we do any floral type thing, you might want to have those to fill. Um, they have these in squares and triangles. I only bought the triangles. Um, <clears throat> I'll pluck the succulent out and use that for something else, but you could put this on the square and make a house if you don't have any house um, forms that the Dollar Tree has. So I did get a couple of these. They're really cute. They're very little, and I just like them. I've been picking these up because we're going to be using this today in our uh, dragonfly um, decoration. <laughs> so if you see them, pick them up. I have been picking up these scarves, <clears throat> um, the ones that have lots of colors. Uh, I love the variegation. I am going to have a DIY. I am making a valance for my curtains, and um, I'm going to. It's going to be very boho. It's going to have lots of laces, and I figured we could use some material from the scarves. So. That's my thinking on buying these. It's a cheap piece of material, so, yeah. I found these. I'm so excited about these. Um, I don't normally do Fourth of July decor, but I just thought that these were just too cute not to. So, I think I may make um, a wreath for my dad's grave um, because he always had a red pickup truck. Uh, so, and he was a veteran, so I thought that might go really well. They have these all the time, but <clears throat> I've been picking them up, and I, I have ideas rolling around in my head, but they're really, really pretty. Um, so, you might want to get some of those. 
and that's it. That's all. Yeah, that's it. Not, not a very big haul, but just to show you what I'm picking up at the Dollar Tree. Alright, today we are going to make this absolutely stunning dragonfly decor. Now this is going outdoors for me. I'm going to put it on my tree. I'm going to put one this way and then one that way. So, um, yeah. Easy. It is easy. But you will have to use a couple of power tools. A drill. You know, um, uh, you don't even have to use a saw. You can cut these with a um, razor blade. But, um, yeah. Just so, so awesome. And, uh, yeah. So, we are the home of Shy Lab because all we want you to do is try. We encourage you to tap into your creativity. So, let's try and create this together. So, this is from a chair that was thrown away. So, I cut off the legs. Um, so, if you can't find this, you can get a chair rail at Home Depot. Um, uh, there's like so many things. You could just use a plain dowel. I like this because it looks more like a dragonfly body. Um, so look on the side of the road on trash day because everybody throws out chairs. So, and don't be afraid of a saw because it's not that difficult. And then I got these at a flea market. Again, you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I mean, not the Dollar Tree. You can get these at Home Depot. Um, if you don't want to spend the money, you could probably get a soft ball at Dollar Tree and uh, glue a screw, you know, like cut a hole, put the screw in it, let it stay overnight so that it's really in there, and then you could screw that into the top of it. So we're going to paint these black, and then I'm going to paint it with an iridescent paint. I will put those in the description box but we want it to look very iridescent. Alright, so that's those. Now, you're going to need two of these of the wash and dry and two of this shape. Uh, I was going to put the whole thing, but it's too big. So what I did was put this up here. This is going to go like that, and this one is going to go like that to make the dragonfly um, wings. So this is very easy to cut. So I just line lining this up and uh, let's see. I'll just do it like this. And that's really all you need to do is use a razor of some sort. If you keep doing it, I mean it will eventually just, I mean it's a particle board and it's very easy to cut through. Now, I'm, cut, I'm painting the um, body and the head black with an iridescent spray, but I want the um, wings to be a different color, so I think I'm going to go with see that that's like that and that's fine I want this off it doesn't want to come off so what I'm going to have to do is sandpaper this and then we'll paint that <coughs> and then this same thing we're going to just scrape these off another day and then this comes right off this one's coming off a lot easier than that one is but um yeah if you can scrape this off that would be great and then we will paint these I gotta look in my spray paints and see what I have um and we need to fill the holes so I'm going to take some of this lightweight spackling and I like to get a piece of scotch tape, put it over the back.
you have wood filler, that would work too. And then I take one of my razors and I just clean it off. And we'll just let that dry. And we'll do the same thing for this one. I just wanted to show you this I sanded. And so this is what they look like sanded. They're not great, but it's enough to go and paint them now. So, so as you can see, I forgot to hit the record button on the audio. But I'm just showing you the um, chair rail. And this did not just screw in. I had to uh, eventually drill a hole to get it in um, but it did go in and um, so that is covered with black and satin I use that rust-oleum uh, 2x you get it at Walmart for three change a can and I got it in the satin and I just love it love it love it it covers so so well um, and then after that, I used this Imagine Rust-Oleum. I got that at Joanne Fabrics, and um, I will put the name of it in the description box below. And then this is um, just something I found at Walmart. It's, a, it's a, some kind of teal. Uh, it was in the clearance section. So that's what I sprayed the uh, wings with. And I did both sides, even though the other side is not going to be seen. And now these are pastes by Art Company. Um, we got them on clearance, like I always do. And then this is a dragonfly glaze that I got at Michael's. So I thought I would experiment with the dragon glaze and see how it works. But I didn't really think that it showed up all that well. So here I am experimenting with the Dragon Glaze and just spreading it around because I just wanted a bunch of different colors to show through on the Dragonfly um, wings. But I end up not using that and using the pastes instead. But again, you could also just paint different color uh, acrylic paints. You don't have to use the pastes. Um, you can use what you have, absolutely. But I just kind of did little bits and pieces of different colors all over the wings. And um, I just want to show you when I use the pastes, I just um, use my finger and I rub it into the wood. So, um, let me finish this and move on to where I do the pastes. So as you can see, um, you know, it's shiny, but it's not a lot of color. Um, so here I am experimenting with the pastes. And again, these are by Art Company, but they do sell the, a different one in different metallics at Hobby Lobby. Not sure if Michaels has them or not, but um, I definitely know Hobby Lobby has them. And I just rub it in with my finger. And I'm just scattering it all over this surface in different areas. But I, I do want to emphasize, I'm doing it with the paste because it's a very metallic-y looking um, color. But you could get metallic acrylics, absolutely, uh, and use those uh, if you don't want to use the paste. Because the paste can be pretty pricey, absolutely pricey. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go along and I'm going to use the different colors. I have like a lime green color, I have this raspberry color, I have a teal, and... Um, I also think I used like a silvery color and just blended that in. So I'm going to um, come back when this is all done.
So <clears throat> as you can see, I am um, now uh, going to outline the painted panels with a puffy paint. Um, <clears throat> I also experimented here with a um, different paint. It's a Glitterific by Folk Art. Um, so that's what that one is, and I'll show you later how that one turns out. But it's a very different look um, than this. And um, <clears throat> so the puffy paint I'm using is like a teal. I'm using what I have, but it matches really well. But you could use silver, you could use, you know, whatever you have. But it's just a fabric paint, and it dries in a couple of hours. So I'm just um, going to go around the edges, um, the oval part of the edges, and then I am going to just randomly put lines uh, all over the uh, wing so that it looks like a netting, um, if that makes any sense. If you look at a dragonfly and you look at the wing, you'll see like there's an intricate, delicate, netting, um, sort of like the veins of a leaf. A leaf. <laughs> Be nice if I could speak today. Alright, so I'm just going to go along and put in all the lines and um, I'll be back. I apologize that a lot of that was off camera, but here I'm showing you um, all the different uh, lines and they go every which way and yeah, this is what it's going to look like. This is a little bit better of an angle to show you how I just randomly put the lines in. Um, I just thought I'd throw that in there to give you an idea. Okay. Okay, so we're just taking the drill and drilling a hole into the top of the um, chair leg. Just be very, very careful. Um, the chair leg was extremely hard to dig into, but um, once I got it a couple of times, I did manage to get it in. Um, so just um, if you can get someone to help you, even better what they look like with the silver I love it and then this is just without the silver which I did want them different maybe they should have all been the same I don't know but it's what I did so now this has got to go on an angle so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge but um, you really you have to drill a hole before you nail it in because you'll split the wood. Well, it's not even wood. Whatever they call this stuff. And then you want to make sure you do it at an angle, but you have to do it so that you can catch it on here. Too. So, let me do this.
what I wanted to show you is it did end up being on there so I put the two pieces of wood together and um, I'm going to attach them and they will go into the wood except the wood doesn't have much of a hole Now, unfortunately, I didn't pay attention, <laughs> and I painted the wrong side. As you can see, it doesn't... I mean, I could get away with it. Yeah. So I drilled... <coughs> so I drilled a hole between the two into the wood, pre-drilled. And then I'm going to line up the screw. I drilled a hole here because this is where I'm going to put the um, screw to screw it into the tree. This is going to go on the tree. And I did put a couple of big, big beads to make the eyes. You don't need them. Um, my daughter says she wishes that I did them both all the same, but I personally wanted them different. And I wanted to show you the... other um, <coughs> wing so the other one will look like that so that's what the difference this is with the um, terrific glitterific from folk art and then it is a silvery uh, puffy paint so there you go I hope you like this I have been dying to do this and I'm just so excited to put them on my trees now I am going to uh, use a polyurethane. Um, I probably do like three coats at least. Um, if you're going to put them outside, if you're putting them inside, you can just mod podge it. But um, I hope you like this. I'm so grateful that you uh, came along on this journey with me. And uh, please, if you haven't become a subscriber, I'd love for you to become a subscriber. Just click on the subscribe button and hit the bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. I am so grateful to my subscribers, and I just love doing this, and I hope you do too. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more outdoor uh, decor, uh, you know, uh, whatever's on your mind, I'm here for you. Uh, so thank you so much, and as we say, keep on creating. There you go. The most beautiful dragonfly for your indoor or outdoor decor. Enjoy.